back to Caesars Palace for more of the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by GoDaddy.com. In this event, everyone's first goal is to make the money. Eight players have already done that, and right now, eight more try to join them. Here's the lineup for the round of 32 in the Hearts and Diamonds brackets. At table one, Vanessa Seltz and the unretired Peter Eastgate. Table two features Greg Raymer and Phil Gordon. Over at table three, we've got Gavin Smith and James Board. At table four, Andrew Robel and three-time Super Bowl champ, Emmett Smith. Emmett, you know you've already gotten by David Williams. What do you have in store for Andrew? I really don't know. <laughs> you know, it's a different day, different opponent, obviously. I've heard a lot of great things about this young man over here, and uh, everybody that I've ran into said he's very tough. And uh, be prepared for him to steamroll you. <laughs> Andrew, did you talk to David Williams and do any well, research? I didn't talk to David Williams, but I watched Emmett play football growing up, and he ran over everyone on the football field. So my plan is just not to get run over today. <laughs> Turn it around on him. All right, good luck, you two. Table five is Bertrand Elke Grobelier and Phil OMG Clay Aiken Galfon. Next to them, Tom Dwan and David Benjamin. Over at table seven, Jennifer Harmon and last year's heads up runner up, Eric Seidel. And featured in the middle of the room, Mr. Phil Locke and the grinder, Michael Mizrahi. Phil, you took down Daniel Negreanu already. Now you have the grinder. What's the difference between their games? They're both monsters, you know? They both know the game and uh... I'm just going to try and play the same way I did yesterday. Careful, you know, see what happens, and then get lucky. <laughs> Grinder, you've had an incredible 12-month run. Are you already looking forward to winning this whole thing? I am looking forward. I actually had my victory party last night at Pure. Oh, so, wow. Uh, yeah, I, I tweeted it last night. It was, I said I only got five more to go, and uh, I am very confident because I am playing Phil Locke today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck, you two. Let's get the cards in the air. Happiness now. We'll see how long that lasts. Craig Hummer alongside Ali Najad ready to get the round of 32 underway in the hearts and diamonds brackets. This is going to be a good one right here. You guys play the winner of Dwan and Benjamin. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I thought it was those guys. I hope Benjamin wins because I think Tom Dwan owns me. He sort of owns my soul. He's one of those guys that just haven't beaten me. Everybody him. owns your soul. <laughs> well, I don't know. Some, you might sometimes I win. Queen eight for Phil. Sometimes I win. Min raise. Sometimes I lose. Queen tray for Michael. Hey ya! Quick fold. I hope that hand comes back. Wasn't that pretty? <laughs> you play good, kid. You play good. You got all the moves. How am I gonna beat you, kid? Taking a look now at the round of 32 matchups on the right side of the draw. Beginning with the hearts bracket, Ali. What matchup stands out to you in this corner? Dwan Benjamin, high stakes cash game specialist, now forced to play the tournament style. And how about the diamonds bracket? One time golden child Bertrand Gropelier against Phil Galfon, the current golden child. If I do anything out of line, let me know. Just fold every hand, and then that would be, that would be in line. If you fold every hand, I'll fold every hand. <laughs> <laughs> there is a proposition. <laughs> Ace king for Andrew. There's a good start. He raises to 1,600. Jack deuce for Emmett. Not so good start. <laughs> want me to he win. wants no part of it. <laughs> Back at the feature table. I see Tilly, but where's Lily? Yeah, where's Lily? Lily, Michael's wife. I got Ewe representing me. That's good. Pocket nines for Phil. Where is it? Min raise. All in and call. What? Are you serious? Ace king for Michael. Did I hear all in call? What'd you guys do? All right. You guys are sick. Min raise. All right, we're, we're on our way right now. Michael is re-raised to 4,500. Don't do it. Phil calls. Oh, nice hand, kid. Just a couple of hands in. We got a 9,000 chip pot. Phil flops the boat to sail way out in front. I would have said don't do it, but I knew you were doing it no matter what. <laughs> of course, I always see bet. You may not be able to see him at home, but there's actually cartoon bluebirds swirling around Locke's head right now. <laughs> After a bet and call of 4,000, the five of clubs means Ms. Rocky's drawing dead. He bets another 5,000. 
And Phil calls again. Just reeling his man in. Eight of clubs, only question left. Will Mizraki shut down? 15,000. There's your answer. He is representing a big pair. Betting 15,000 on the end. It's amazing. I know if I go all in, you have to fold. And I might be winning. All right, hell, I'm going to go with it. All in. Phil goes all in. Wow. Don't do it, kid. Think of the family. <laughs> Ace, nine of clubs, or eight's four? Which one is it? And Ms. Rocky follows Phil's script. He does indeed I fold. I think I had you beat. If you fold, if you fold, I'd probably have you beat. That's for sure. <laughs> Well, if you have ace, ace, nine of clubs, or eight's full, I'm sure it's good, too. And As Ms. Rocky promised, we head out to an all-in and call. Phil, Phil Gordon, Gordon with ace-king, Greg, Raymer with, Greg Raymer, Raymer with pocket queens. Here's Practically all the chips in the middle, 97,800. Raymer's at risk. Phil king. pairs his king to move Alvin way ahead in this king race. What's wrong with this picture? Phil Gordon Here's doesn't hit kings in this spot. <laughs> Greg adds some outs with the open ender. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Raymer swaps the queens in for an ace or a nine. That will give him the straight. Here's the river. Gordon sweating it. Phil dodges the seven outer and will move into the round of 16. Oh, bring it in. Bring it in for the real thing, Reverend. There it is. Gordon with the big bear hug just relieved to win in that spot. Historically, Raymer would have been doubling up there. <laughs> now back at table four. Feeling each other out. Emmett with ace deuce. 1600. He raises the 1600. Andrew with ace queen. A little bit better than ace deuce, that's for sure. The re raised to 4800. Call. Emmett calls. While Andrew Robles got the best hand in this particular situation and he's three betting, this big pot poker that he's playing is an approach that's volatile and typically is going to favor the amateur. It's a little surprising. Emmett flops a wheel draw. Ace Queen still best. Andrew bets 5,500. McCullough. And Emmett calls. Over 20,000 in this pot. This is risky business, Andrew's approach. Robo with the Broadway draw. His ace queen still good. Tough to bet after Emmett called 5,500 on the flop. He'll be relieved to see Smith check behind him. And after check, check, Smith makes his wheel. Andrew's just praying that Emmett has a busted spade draw. Six, seven gets there, ace, deuce gets there, any pair beats him. All in. Emmett, Emmett goes all, all in. in. That's an over bet, 38 and change into 20,000 and change. And Emmett takes I, down the pot. I think the jack helped you somehow. Make two pair on the jack. I can't get her run over by Emmett Smith on national TV. Who's running you over? You the one jumping out there making the big bets. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You running yourself over. Greg Fosselman Raymer. Phil Topoy Gordon. Vanessa Sobst. Peter Eastgate, 2008 world champion. Gavin Smith. James Ford. Andrew Robel. Emma Smith. Bertrand Elke goes per year. Phil Galfon. Tom Duan. David Benjamin. Jennifer Harmon, two-time bracelet winner. Eric Seidel. Phil Locke, the Unabomber. Michael the Grinder is rock. Welcome back. We return now to our featured table, Phil Locke and Michael Mizraki. I didn't have two tens. That was that BS. Would, that would be a bad play. That's Correct. not a good play. Correct. No, it wouldn't be bad. It would be horrendous, actually. Yeah. Lock up almost four to one in chips. He looks at 10-7 and limps in. Mizraki up against the ropes. I know you had ace-nine of clubs, two eights. Oh, you fill up on the river. That's my style, kid. Lock pairs is 10. Ms. Style, Rocky you know? flops 10s and 6s. Check it, Checky. Check, check. Ms. Rocky makes a boat on the turn. Dangerous card for Lock. I call that obvious bet. This right. is troublesome. A bet of 800 and a call. Lock thinks he's slow playing here. His goose is cooked. 
Board double pairs, both players with tens full now. I think Locke somehow just uncooked his own goose. <laughs> that is a miracle river card for him. Ms. Rocky bets 2,000. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to go all in. Locke ships it. I call. Michael calls and realizes how unlucky he is. Don't chop it up. So lucky. <laughs> you jiggled it just right to get me to go all in. Kind of a negative free roll, but I just, I didn't see you having King Tan or Kings, you know? It's called a suck out. Wait, does he have quads? Beat me. <laughs> You're gonna tell, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna figure it out, that's for sure. I got a lot of tells, but they're all reverse tells. How do you have 10-6 there? I mean, it's suited into everything. How did he do it? Come on. I thought for a second, you know. Oh, man. Phil Locke and Michael Mizraki have been around poker for a long time. Ali and both are enjoying overdue success. Locke won his first bracelet in Europe this past year, and the grinder had the World Series of a Lifetime in 2010. In their careers here at Heads Up, however, success has been a little bit harder to find. Who can transfer their recent play, though, to this event? Spoke with both of these guys before they got out here, and they both told me they wanted to lay back and react to the other guy. But if you do that in Heads Up play, you're just going to end up in a coin flip in the late rounds when the blinds are big. As we've seen, Phil Locke is the protagonist. He has taken it to Mike Mizraki, and Mizraki's back on his heels. Is Mizraki going to be able to come back from this? He's able to come back from something like this, but will he? I don't think so. I like Phil Locke. On to the next round. You should feel there's no value in raising. No, no, no. I mean, like, you, you call, I call, and then you show, and then I go, oh, man. How do you have a 10 there? And I do the whole drama, and then I show. Oh, that's a little slow. Right? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, okay. Seven deuce for Ms. Rocky, and he gives kid, Phil kid, the walk. Kid, kid. This is a monster. This is we waited till I had the button before we jacked it. We're, we're working in tandem, kid. We make our deals in the parking lot. Back with Robel and Smith. Heard you were giving uh, Emmett some coaching. But why are you trying to do me like that? <laughs> I'm not rooting really against you, Robo. <laughs> we had to help Emmett out. Are you asking uh, for the help? Thank you. Andrew with five deuce. I can use all the help I can get. 05 champ Phil Helmuth with a cameo, <laughs> this time from left to right. Twice as nice. 7-6 <laughs> six for Emmett, and he folds. All-in situation just next door. We'll see what they have James now. Board on the right with a set of deuces. Gavin Smith on flush and wheel draws. There are definitely safer boards for bottom set than that one right there. Deuces full of trays will float board into the round of 16. And Gavin's going to have to hope for better luck next year. Lock one up for Jolly Old. The man from across the pond is moving on. He'll face the Robel Emmett Smith winner. And back at table four, Emmett Smith hoping to advance and happily absorbing whatever coaching help he can get. And we are all in here. Six. Six. The football player beats the poker player. Emmett Smith onto the round of 32. After the match, Phil uh, came up to me and said, congratulations on advancing. I got some things I want to share with you. Phil sat me down and we played poker together, talked through the whole entire match, <laughs> where I was making mistakes, what he was reading. To get that feedback from professionals like those guys was a very huge blessing for me. I know that Andrew Robo is a very a formidable opponent. The way I see it, it's the Philadelphia Eagles defense in 1991, 92, and 93. So I just have to be patient, not make mistakes, and take advantage of what the defense gives me. Led by Reggie White, those were some of the best defenses in the history of the NFL. His first three games against that defense, Ali, he averaged only 62 yards, but the next three games, 191. He's hoping to rise to the occasion here as well. I call. Just needs to be patient. And with Queen six, Emmett calls Robles raise. Both players pair their queen. It doesn't look like Emmett's going to be passive here and just check it over to the pre-flop raiser. He bets 2,500. That's taking Andrew to the task. Quick call from Robel. Turn misses both players. Emmett's still got the best hand with queen six. His kicker still plays. You're 5,000. He bets 5,000. 
I don't want to put these sunglasses on. But if you keep staring at me, I will. Yeah, but then I can see your cards in the reflection. So that's, I'm really <laughs> going to know what you have. No, my head would be down like this, though. <laughs> All right, I think you have a kink. Robo Mux and Emmett's back to a 3-2 to two chip lead. Could be another upset out of that man. <laughs> You're watching the 2011 National Heads Up Poker Championship from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. The home of champions. Presented by GoDaddy.com. Welcome back to Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. At our featured table, Phil Locke hoping to make Michael Mizraki another victim of his favorite phrase. I started trying to find the word that would match the feeling of what's happening when you whack a guy for his whole stack. And in a period of like four months, I went through five or six words until one day, I just said felted, and I went, oh my god, that's it. And a lot of people don't believe it, but I did start that word. If you're one of those kids that, like, in third grade said, yeah, I'm descended from the Mayflower, and, like, who cares, first of all, a lot of people can prove that they were descended from the Mayflower. Uh, I wasn't, and uh, I'm okay with that. But out of all the words and all the things I've come, only one really stuck, and I'm really proud of it. It's felted. Imagine being in Phil Locke's brain. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, the no. kids. Always good to hear. Little miracles of life, running around the house, eating cereal. Right around the hotel. Hotel? Yeah. What's that mean? No, they're running around the hotel right now. <laughs> oh, really? You shipped them in from the house to here? Uh, yeah, might as well. Mom and Dad, the whole thing coming down. GoDaddy.com pocket cam shows locks 10-7. Raise it 2,000. He raises to 2,100. Ace queen for Michael. All in. He goes all in. I do not like that you said that because <laughs> I very well could be beat. What leads you to think that, Philip? That's a lot, huh? Wanting something? Count it out, kid. If you are you gonna are you gonna call I'm, or are you? I don't know. Well, if, if if I fold, then at least I know what it is for the next time you do it because I'll be okay, trying. So this is for next time. Probably. <laughs> it's starting to look pretty ominous. It's 14, 15, 15 17. 18, yeah, 18, 18, you're, yeah, you're good. Kid. Yeah, you, you don't good. want. You, you don't want to mess around here. <laughs> we'll, do yeah. we'll do it at the same time. All right. Uh, Fine use right. of reasoning by Phil. Yeah, that's a bad play to raise me on the button now. You want, Kid, you I, thought, I, had a hand, I had a hand that you should open with and then fold to a raise. You know what that is, right? Group three hands. You're like king, queen, and jack. King, queen, snap call. Yeah. Snap sure. call. I had king eight suited. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Back at table four, things have tightened up. Stacks basically even. Blind still at four and 800. Ace Jack for Andrew. He raised to 2,000. Emmett with Jack 8 suited. I call. He'll call. 4,000 chip pot. Both players with Jack. Smith has kicker problems. Last time he flopped middle pair against Andrew, he led right out, and he's doing the same thing here. Last time, Andrew gave him credit for top pair on the turn. Let's see what he does here. After a bet and call of 2,000, board pairs, Robles 3, ace kicker still good. And it bets 3,000, and a call from Andrew. Robles not giving him credit this time around. 10 of hearts changes nothing. 14,000 in the pot. Emmett's got to ask himself what it is that Andrew's been calling with. What you don't want to do is check, though, and let Robo potentially fire a big bet at you. Emmett bets 5,000. Andrew, with a little hesitancy, calls, and he's now got the chip lead. The bet was small enough for Robo to do that. I wonder what happens, though, if Emmett fires a pot size bet. Cameo 3.0 for Phil Helmuth, still sweating Emmett. We're going to have to upgrade him to supporting actor. It's like awkward fan cam in the background. <laughs> you play good, kid. Yeah, you I don't play real good. <laughs> play real good. Come on, it's the patter. Give me, allow me the patter, you know? I enjoy the patter. It's part of the poker. Oh. Lock up over 3-1 to one in chips. Solid. Queen 5 suited. He limps in. Ms. Rocky with queen 6. Did Jen see my cards? No, she can't. All right. He checks. Lily, where's Lily at? She's, I want her to see your cards, at least. Lock pairs his queen, but he'll have a tough time winning this one. Remember last time I let out with a queen? I'm going to do it again. 
Queen's up for Mike. I call that obvious bet. Bet of 900 yeah. and a call. Yeah. I check in the dark. In the dark, dark check by Mike. King on the turn. Okay. Lock checks Ding. behind. Both players with the same hand. Check. They'll chop it up, barring a bet and fold. <laughs> okay, I check, I check. I, I flopped check. it. But you, you might, we might chop now. They knuckle the end. Oh, that's a chop. And they'll chop. I'm so good. How are you drawn dead every like time it. and get there? <laughs> drawn dead? Drawn there. dead? Call. Why don't that's I bet the careful. river, huh? Bet 3,000. Now you have to make I, a tough I, call. It's sort of tough because I had a queen six. I knew, I thought it was going to work if a rag come up. God. A dark how, check was going to work. How about if a five comes up? Then I have two pairs. Then I start jamming in on you. We're all in. Hurting then, you. Then we chop. I know. On the river. Oh, my God. Oh, Phil Locke is running good. First against Mike's 10-6, he chops it up with the same full house. And then against Queen-6, he makes the same two pair. And Ms. Rocky cannot believe it. Don't ever run bad, kid. So what is your body's reaction to overheating? For a girl, it's just a little bit of a sheen. Sweat is when you're all in, your cards are turned over, and you can see that maybe you're uh, quite a big underdog. When you have a situation where your life could change with the turn of a card. It's kind of uh, this feeling of intense emotion, where everything's in the balance. You have all your money in the pot, and there's one card to come. And pray that you make it all the way to the river. Either going to bust you and make you go home, or double you up and make you one of the chip leaders. There's nothing you can do but sit there and watch and, and help. Having the chance to make money or possibly lose money. Fourth down with four seconds left in the Super Bowl and your team is down by six. You're in a basketball game and you bet it and you get five points and the game is close to your line the whole way. You know what I mean? That's a sweat. Sweating a player is when you uh, sit behind them and watch them play and root for them. They sweat for you by watching you play and emotionally pulling for you to win. Maybe they even have a stake in you, so there's a there's a reason for them to be rooting for you. I'm sweating right now. So hot and hot. Emmett Smith has had quite a few people sweating him, including Phil Helmuth, who's with Leanne. Phil, I saw last night that you had Emmett in the poker room and you were giving him some advice. What'd you tell him? Well, I mean, I'm a big fan of Emmett's. I mean, you know, for I was a Cowboy fan when I was young growing up. And so there were a few basic things. I asked David Williams what Emmett did wrong in their match. And David told me a few things like act and turn and, and don't like look disinterested when you miss the flop some basic stuff and we worked on some math theory so we played a lot of hours and we taught him to raise 70 or 80 percent of the time on the button which is a very aggressive strategy and about a lot after the flop and uh, you're going to pick up a lot of pots against someone who can't read well we basically loaded up his gun so hopefully Emmett can fire the bullets. Well, thanks for taking the time for us, Phil. Appreciate it. Emmett three bets pre-flop and takes a look at three clubs and two overcards to his eights. He bets 3,000. Andrew calls. Set of eights for Emmett to retake the lead. Roble drawing dead. All in. Emmett goes all in. All in. We at home know he doesn't do that without the goods. And Andrew forced to fold. Why didn't you play me? You gonna let me bluff you out there? I thought I had the worst hand. I could be wrong, but I think you had me. I would never know until I see it. Yeah. That one wasn't Helmuth approved. It's 70 for me. Back at the feature table, Phil Lock up just over two and a half to one. Relaying the message to, worse, to his right? troops in the stands. With 6-5, he limps in, pocket deuces for Ms. Rocky. He checks. Both of us do a lot of limping on the button. Do you think that's wise? Yeah. Set of deuces for Michael. Open ender for Phil. This could get spicy. Think of the family, kid. Think of the family. Bet and call of 1,200. <laughs> Queen of diamonds changes nothing. Think of the family, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and I know if I go all think in, you have to family. fold. Michael bets 3,600. Try it, then. Try it. Right, I'm just going to pay you off, I guess. I'm just going to pay you off, sir. Not with six high, he's not. You Phil calls. You out-funked me on this one. Phil makes fives, but it's too little too late. Michael 10, set 000. the best hand. That is 10,000. And bets 10,000. 
Really? While well, Locke mulls it over, we head over to an all-in with David Benjamin and Tom Dwan. Dwan is down to just 13,000 in chips. It was a no-brainer. Not a good flop for Tom. He's got six outs twice, looking for a king seven or a couple of runners. Benjamin's Broadway draw kills the king. Durr will need a seven. I wanted a three across. Just yes, getting sir. worse and worse for Tom. Will he survive? Five of clubs. Dwan's done. Benjamin's ace good enough to gain access to the round of 16. And in that round, he's going to face the winner of our feature table matchup where Locke is tanking. I hate paying you off. 10,000 is too much. After some serious you. contemplation, that might be the Phil hand Mucks. of the match where I, when I find out you bluff me, I'm just sick. I folded a seven, kid. Seven ten. You want to know what it, the suits were? I swear to God, you were drawn dead. On the flop. <laughs> seven ten is drawn dead. <laughs> I flop. Seven deuces, is good. No way. All right. <laughs> I, can, I can't believe you. You're a good guy, but you can be lying to me. <laughs> I, I flopped a set of deuces. Not everyone's like you, Phil. Carts? More all-in action. Ace deuce for Bertrand Gropelier on the left uh, against trot. pocket fours for Phil fours. Galfon. Or Phil. Phil and down to about 11 big blinds. Couple of sixes. Six, six, Phil three. now has sixes and fours. Six and fours still lead. Hanging on so far. <laughs> <laughs> Nine of Nine hearts. hearts. Now Galfon's got to fade aces and, and nines rip. to avoid elimination. Nine would counterfeit him. It's a 10. ten. Two fours are good. Phil doubles up and Double gets up. himself right back into this match. Gropelier still with the chip lead, but it's 56 to 44. A little more manageable. If a 10 or 7 came, guess what, kid? I double I'm up. Pu I'm putting some money oh, in. Oh, I'm, I'm shocked and didn't come 10 10. Ms. Rocky down <laughs> right, almost 2 to happens. 1. He looks at aces. You know, I get and limps in. Oh, Queen six. six suited for Phil. Grinder's correct. I never rate that a position, you know? He's got that neural netted. Locke makes queens, but still trails Michael's aces, and Phil checks. I call that obvious bet. Perfect scenario for Ms. Rocky. Locke's got top pair, and no clue he's got aces. Seven of clubs, no help to Phil. He'll check. Ms. Rocky bets 3,000. I call it obvious bet. And Phil calls again. Oh, bro, you gave me nervous noise. Oh, Mike's not nervous. Eight of diamonds, Ms. Rocky's aces hold up. Another check from Phil. 9,000. Michael bets 9,000. I'm the worst. Aces. Limping big pays off this time. Back to square one. <laughs> back to square one. He's killing me, Jennifer. Emmett Smith, staying aggressive, manages to pick up a nice pot against Andrew Roble, while Phil Locke sees his chips go right down the drain and into the grinder stack. Welcome back to Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, where we rejoin round of 32 action between Andrew Roble on the left and Emmett Smith. Lines now at one in 2,000. A little better than a three to two chip lead for Roble. He looks at 10-9. When the blinds start to go up, however, those Let's chip leads are less significant. After the min raise, Emmett with queen nine re-raises to 8,000 and a call. More of that aggression from Smith. He's gambling. Both players with gut shots. Check. Check. Emmett checks. Oh, and that's the mistake. Emmett needs to keep his foot on the gas here and fire that continuation bet. Now he's letting Roble take the pot. Andrew bets 10,000 and a fast fold from Emmett. That's the easiest place for Emmett to improve his game. Your opponent's going to miss the flop two out of three times. Fire! The trick to poker would be to somehow get your money in the pot without your opponent knowing that you have a good hand. That's, But that's hard to do because... When you start betting, that's a big tell. You getting all you this, Craig? I'm writing it so, down. <laughs> that's the riddle, right? That we're all trying to crack. A6 for Ms. Rocky. He raises to 5,500. 55. Ace4 for Phil. He calls. Could be three betting, but content to let Grinder dictate the pace. Match has evolved a little bit. Phil makes fours on the flop. Let me, let me, let me squeeze this baby. All right, I agree. Go. Check, check. Ms. Rocky can't connect check. with the queen on the turn. And after Phil checks, Michael bets 5,000 and is able to steal one. It's like he knew. 
<laughs> Catching up on the chip counts around the room, Phil Gordon, James Board, and David Benjamin all moving on. Lock and Mizraki almost dead even at the featured table. Meanwhile, at table four, Andrew Robel holding the lead over Emmett Smith. A matchup we rejoin right now. Robles got to be careful not to get frustrated at the idea he hasn't been able to close Emmett out yet. A lot of times we'll see professionals get hasty because they feel like they should have been done by now. Emmett with King 4 suited makes the min raise. On. Andrew not following your advice, Ali. King Jack suited. Call. He puts Emmett all in. All in. All right, Emmett and a call. All in. We'll take a look Good at time cards. to have Emmett all in. I'm a little shocked. Four Smith four making a Emmett very Smith. lean King call. Jack of clubs for Andrew Robel. This is when poker becomes a sport. Heart rate gets up. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is where the luck of the draw happens, too. Yep. There's nothing you can do for this Anything portal. can happen. Here's a flop. Don't trade your gym membership for a card game anytime <laughs> soon. Emmett pairs his four, four to take flop. a big Five lead in this four. spot. That's a devastating it's flop for Robel, and the look says it all. He needs Here's a jack. Turn, turn gives diamonds. Andrew a gut shot. Emmett now has to fade seven outs, otherwise Here's he'll be river. eliminated. And Robel robs Smith straight with straight the Andrew queen Robel on the river. Wow. The straight will send Andrew on to the next round and Emmett yeah, to the sideline. I, I saw the four. I'm like, yeah, that, that's, that ain't going to hold up. Four flop, my heart dropped. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, King Jack is supposed to beat King four, but not after that yeah, flop. See what they have. Another all now, in. Deuces for Gropelier nines. against pocket nines for, for Galfond. Galfon was all in and at risk with pocket fours doubled up and has now built up an almost four to one chip lead. Both ten, players ten, make queen. two pair, fills tens and nines, nines best. Elke in serious turn. danger. Two outs twice. It is an eight. No chance for a chop. Elke down to one final Deuce. card. And the river. And no deuce. Elke ends up playing the board. Galfon's going on. For Bertrand, that's going to sting. The one that got away for OMG Clay Aiken. He's got a date with the Selps Eastgate winner. Let's go down to Leanne. Emmett, you went one and one here with us at Heads Up. What did you find out about yourself as a poker player? Well, listening to that Andrew talk about the way that I played, he said I played pretty good. I don't know if he's been very gracious or not, but, you know, I made a couple errors here and there, but at the end of the day, he had better cards than I did the whole entire time, and he played it like a pro should play it. He drove and drove and put pressure on me, forced me to make decisions to either go after it or not, and with the weaker hands that I had, I couldn't even compete. He kept looking me in my eyes and most of the plays, trying to read me, and I, and I knew he was trying to do it. But I wanted to bust up and laugh and smile the whole time, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, I just had a great experience. Wow. It's been wonderful. Thank you. It's great playing you. Isn't it? Pleasure's all Andrew, mine. What did you What do you think about his poker future? I think he has a bright future ahead of him. A lot of times, amateur players were played very passive, but Emmett was playing very aggressive. He was raising everybody, re-raising me a lot out of the big line, putting a lot of pressure on me, and. Uh, you know, that makes it tough. I got lucky, I caught some big hands, and uh, at the end, you know, I ended up winning the coin flip. All right, you have James Ford next. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right. Emmett, one and one, playing 500 ball, but definitely impressed some people along the way. It's Ms. Rocky now up almost two to one, and he looks at A7 and limps in. All in. Call. And just like all that, we've got an all in and call. Nice call. I'm a little dizzy. That happened. To, th eight, that 10, might be the record. Seven, all in. I picked the wrong time to blink. Uh, 60 to <laughs> 65 to 35. So if I win, I have 70. 10, ace, 10, ace, 7. 10, 20, 30. It's around 30 to 70. I, but I'm covered. Still hit it, baby. You'll be at 70 and then he'll be <laughs> no, at 30. He's not. The well, we're gonna, coming. I got my girl power. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is revenge. Lily versus Tilly. Yeah, Hell, yeah. We, I got your back. Don't worry. Come Bring on, you can do it. I never root to punish a man, but Six, he's won eight, so much money. I called Grind Rub. You save, we spend. I called Grind Rub two weeks ago. I said, What are you doing? He says, I have an lemonade. I got tired of moving all Wait, my money this. from one room to another room. Neither player connects. That's good for us. So 10 would be make it very hard for him to win. Ten, seven of spades, guaranteed. No, don't do it to me. Ten. Ooh. Ooh, that's Jack of diamonds. Locke needs to fade the seven, and he'll double up. Before. I can do it again. You could have got to. Oh, let's 
Let's go three clubs. Grinder might want to tag Lily in for this river. Kid. Although I'm strong enough, I can take it. If the seven comes, I'm strong. I can take it. I'll be like, yeah, it's all right. Life is good. You know? Seven one time. Here it comes. I feel it. Queen. Queen or three? Queen or three? It's the river. Ooh. Phil fades the seven and takes the chip lead. Okay, so my stack is... Uh, these are 10, 25, 30, 34. I just oh. ace 10, ace 7, 34 turns into 68. So now it's 68 to 32. Kung fu. Kung fu. Did you, hit, did you suck that on Travis? No, no. Oh, you had... Yeah. Who's Travis? Yeah, yeah. yeah. who's he thinking of? Emma played good. Oh, okay. he was putting the pressure on. Trying to run me over. Oh, pre-fop? Yeah. I told I taught him. Oh, you taught him? I told, I told him, he said, what do I do? Everyone was trying to do me in, giving him the vice. No, just ask Before him. the match. Plays poker the same way he plays football. You know, Attack. Runs fast, <laughs> runs everyone over. All right, good luck, guys. Thank you, sir. We'll see you. There's only two more matches. Three more matches, Grindy. Clock, clock is Wow, my energy's been revitalized. I'm revitalized. I am revitalized. Bill Locke feeling re-energized as he contemplates a berth in the round of 16. Meanwhile, players from the clubs and spades brackets arriving for their round of 16 matchups, including 2010 main event champ Jonathan Duhamel. We'll see him in action next Sunday at noon Eastern. Locke with a better than three to one chip lead. Blinds at 12 and 2400. Mike with ace nine suited. All in. Goes all, all in. in. That's enough. King Jack for oh. Phil. He calls. All in and call on the feature table. Grinder's going to like what he sees here. Uh, it's a little back. aggressive, but it, I'm 40% on an all in. This was a bad call, but I couldn't help myself. All right, we're back again. Ace nine of diamonds was King Jack. <laughs> maybe I'm winning and. If I'm not, maybe I'll get there. Thank you're, God. King of Hearts, if he had his king, I would have been sick. Oh, if you had king, like, you're like on a free roll right now. What do you, 35 I'm about 60, 40 alone. I got to run him out. I get nervous. I have fat face cards. Reinforcements are in place. 7-8 right. Trey misses both players. 24% with that. No, you got it, you got it. I'll take a ton of diamonds. So far, so Clear good for Grinder. His Rocky picks up the nut flush and open-ended draws. That wipes the king of diamonds and jack of diamonds out of locks options. Nutter butter on the river. Ms. Rocky has even this match. Take that one for the team. Take that one for the team. How much does he have? I can do it. All right, go back to Lily now. Count it out, kid. At least I won that one little pot to nip it down a little. I had a big hand. 24, 24-6. 24-6. Emmett Smith certainly has nothing to hang his head about after a couple of runners left Andrew Robel singing God Save the Queen. Phil Galvan's pocket nines completed a comeback. Locke delivered a shot to the grinder, but Michael counterpunched. His ace nine hung on, and now we've got ourselves a match. Dance, dance, dance till you're dead. As we return to Caesar's Palace, Phil Locke and Michael Mizraki still competing at the featured table, oh, no, and stacks are virtually the even. The nine and nine. Is, uh, there could have been a better hand, right? Wasn't there a lower straight push? GoDaddy.com pocket cam shows Michael's ace ten suited. Six thousand. He raises to six thousand. All in. Ball. Phil goes all in. Snap call. Ms. Rocky, a favorite, heading now. to the flop. All in. I will come. You, uh, you have me covered, right? No, I have you, I have you covered. Cheerleaders back in place. Ace yeah. this one, of hearts I don't for feel the it. Reminder. Ace of spades, eight of diamonds. You feel it? For the Unabomber. You have hey. covered? Let's flop it right. straight. Two, Here's three, four. Two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Two, three, some four. Love. Eight. <sighs> King, King six, six seven terrible. locks tournament life lies terrible. with an eight nine, or running or cards. Like we want like a deuce of hearts. Yeah. Nine ten or an eight. A deuce of hearts. Here's the turn. Five eight nine ten. Five eight nine ten. Five eight nine ten. Deuce, no help to fill. An eight or bust That's for the really Unabomber. Now. now I need specifically one card. <laughs> Here's the river. Eight. <laughs> the grinder is going on and lock is felted. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> that hurt. I took it for us this time. You play good, baby. You play like a champion. Maybe I should look at the flop. Ms. Rocky will move on to play Benjamin. Sure. Now you can put some cash in there. <laughs> Ms. Rocky and the money. Another all-in. Peter Eastgate's ace-nine offsuit against Vanessa Selps' ace-five of spades. 
Peter Eastgate. If Peter wants to get into the money, it's going to start with a double up here. Both players Ace pair the ace. Six. Eastgate's Both nine players. gives him the edge. Not a good board for Selbst. Right now. Makes it real tough Here's for her to chop. That he card is a, is a chop helper. Seven or a ten or higher, and they'll split. Anything else, and Eastgate takes it down. Here's the river. They'll That's hack it up and do it all over again. That'll leave a little sick in Eastgate's mouth. <laughs> Let's go down to Leanne with our just concluded featured matchup. Phil, that last hand moving in there, was that your standard move? A more clever play would have been to call than shove. Uh, I mean, heads up towards the end, you're looking for like king highs and ace highs to get it all in because the blinds start getting up there. But ace eight against a lot of people, it's a good hand in that spot, so I all just right. shoved it. All right, always entertaining yeah. to watch you, thanks. Yeah. Michael, you showed a lot of confidence. Is there such a thing as being too confident? Oh, I don't think you should be too confident, but you know, I, I just, you know, I felt good. I feel like uh, I'm, I'm good at coin flips, and uh, I don't know how, I've, he said he's run, been running good, but I don't think anybody could beat me in coin flips, so right now, I'm, that means I'm running real good. All right, see Find you next you. round. Our first look now at Jennifer Harmon up against last year's runner-up Eric Seidel. Eric up almost three to one in chips and blinds 1,500 and 3,000. Harmon looks at Jack-10 suited. I'm all in. She pushes. Jennifer's all in. Wow. Ace-9 suited for Eric. I call. He calls. He call. Ace nine of clubs for Eric Seidel. This Jack could Kenny be a good diamonds. time to make a pair today. He was worried about being up against a better ace. He won't mind Jack ten though. Pair of trays on the flop. Harmon is gonna need some help. She's looking to spike a Jack or a ten. Eric makes ace. two pair aces and trays. Jennifer needs to hit the Here's gutter her. or it's adios. She trades six outs for four. Eric right. Jennifer Seidel, Harmon is now eliminated. I never get past this point. Seidel notches another win. I thought he was going to throw his back out on that hug. <laughs> Phil Locke had his pencil sharpened and ready to stick his name in the next round of the brackets, but it was the grinder who overcame the odds to advance. What can I say? Eric Seidel did the same, just a little more quietly. Welcome back to the Caesars Palace Poker Room. The results in the hearts and diamonds brackets are almost all in. Phil Gordon is in the money for the second time in his heads up career, defeating 2004 main event champ Greg Raymer. James Board is making some noise on the other side of the pond as he advances over Gavin Smith. A high-stakes showdown ends with David Benjamin outlasting Tom Dwan. Phil Galfon continued his run with a win over Bertrand Grobelier. Emmett Smith's run at Heads Up comes to an end, courtesy of Andrew Robel. The grinder and his confidence advanced over Phil Locke, and Eric Seidel takes another step toward a repeat finals appearance with a win over Jennifer Harmon. Right now, there's one table left, Peter Eastgate and Vanessa Selbst. Eastgate out of retirement, but right now in some trouble against Selbst in the round of 32. Last time we caught up with these two, Selbst got lucky to chop. 48. Raise it. With pocket jacks, he makes the min raise. Pocket queens for Vanessa. All in. She puts all Peter all in. Snap call. Oh, yeah. Jacks. Really? Yeah. What? Are you serious? That's the first hand on the feature table? With 13 big blinds? Can't blame Eastgate for thinking he had the best Queens hand after the interrogation. Jacks, Vanessa, I'm not sure what she's so upset about, Ollie. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> Take a look at the flop. Maybe she was just getting used to the feature table and all the attention. 10-9 Ten, Ten, deuce. Nine, Peter deuce. Eastgate in a world of hurt. Queen still lead. Vanessa's all done being upset on his Here's behalf. Six of clubs. Six. One final chance for Eastgate. Just a jack. We'll keep him off the rail. And it's Vanessa five. advances. So, That's unbelievable. The money. Okay, okay. Not much unbelievable about two queens beating two jacks. Vanessa puts an end to Peter Eastgate's comeback tour. As that matchup concludes, so does the round of 32. From the hearts bracket, Andrew Robel, James Board, Michael Mizraki, and David Benjamin advancing. And in the diamonds bracket, Phil Galfond, Vanessa Seltz, 
Eric Seidel and Phil Gordon moving on. Be prepared for him to steamroll you. He's bigger. You can't keep a straight face. Don't explode. If you keep staring at me, I will. Come on. Let me squeeze this, baby. We make our deal from the parking lot. The nizzles, baby. <laughs> Coming up next Sunday, it's the round of 16. For Ali Najad and Leanne Tweed, and I'm Craig Hummer saying so long from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. You've been watching the National Heads Up Poker Championship. You tell him, well, kid, <laughs> you got the cheese, you know? No, I mean, it was, uh, you know, Phil picked up the first big pop, the 449. It was just, tell I me what I had, I'll tell you what I had right now. Ace King. I had pocket nines. I knew you had a monster, bro. Yeah, I knew it eight's what? four, nine's four. Why do you wanna... keep firing, dude? You know what happened? Because I know I can recover from grind. <laughs> so you want to keep the challenge. This is why he has like a living room filled with cash, you know? Because he's thinking all the time, you know? It's like chess, buddy. You always think one step ahead. <laughs> it was so strange losing to I just it just felt so strange. I was like, wow, I, I just lost, didn't I? I, I mean... lost this thing. How did I lose? And the grinder is on. That hurt. I think I'm the luck box here, and I, I didn't think he could withstand that. I don't think he'll beat me in flips. I'm telling him, listen, you don't want to flip with me. I said, Phil, you have no shot. Bet everybody else, but you can't beat me in flips. And when I'm favorite, how are you ever going to win? <laughs> <laughs> a nice guy won it, so that's okay with me, you know? All right, so uh, that's a wrap, right?